When Carl Sagan died, I felt surprising sadness for someone I'd admired from afar. I found that he'd inspired me to think in new dimensions. I shared his sense of wonder at the stars. I saw him first in college, late night on Johnny Carson. His enthusiasm was contagious. I thought he had a great mind, and I loved his sense of humor. And Cosmos was a show for all the ages. Now I am trained in science to a geology degree. I love astronomical ideas. When time and space are measured in billions and billions, and I can't pass up a good science museum. I saw his wife and drew in on TV. She seemed so sad. They both felt death is final and forever. It must be so difficult living while believing. They'll never ever once more be together. I also felt God in the afterlife, an empty notion, till I read the words of mystics down through time. Their accounts of higher consciousness were somehow so familiar, it lifted me to thoughts new and sublime. Like this notion that the impulse of creation springs from love, is it only wishful thinking on my part? That you and I are waves that will return to some great ocean, and while here we are connected at the heart. Nowadays I'm thinking that it's possible it could be that consciousness lives on in unknown ways. Maybe we move on to higher planes and new existence, or even live again with some new face. So I want to tell his wife, and I wish I could give her comfort. I think Carl's spirit still lives on. Wouldn't it be something if, when her time here is over, there was Carl saying, "Hi, hon, I was wrong."